cool girl thought she simply needed new glasses when she started suffering headaches only for a eye test to reveal a large brain tumor. Beth McKendrick Rafferty, 14, who has worn glasses since she was a toddler, was blighted with stabbing headaches and assumed it was a sign she needed her prescription upgrading. During a routine eye appointment at Specs of Us, Beth, then 12, passed the reading tests with flying colors and was baffled by what was causing the crippling pain. However, opticians spotted a large shadow at the back of Beth's right eye and after numerous tests, CT scans and an MRI scan, she was given the devastating news that she had a brain tumor. The large benign mass behind her right eye, called a pilocytic astrocytoma, was pressing on the optic nerve and if left untreated could have caused blindness and even life-threatening strokes. Do you have inspiring cancer story? Email webnews at mirror.co.uk Thankfully four grueling operations and 52 weeks of chemotherapy were a success and the tumor reduced in size, though Beth must live with it forever. Now Beth and her mom Claire McKendrick, 53, are sharing her story to urge people to attend routine eye tests as Beth credits hers for saving her life. Claire, from Hamilton, South Lanarkshire, Scotland, said, It was a devastating diagnosis to hear the word tumour or was terrifying to hear. I thought it might have been a migraine, I never thought it was going to manifest itself as being a tumour. The doctors said it was a large one sitting on her optic nerve and not doing anything wasn't an option. Removing it wasn't an option either, because of the position of the tumor, the only option was chemotherapy a low dose, but a high frequency with a view to reducing it. Beth, who also lives with Glasgow Caledonian University lecturer dad Daniel Rafferty, 55, started experiencing headaches in December 2017 and went to the Hamilton branch of Specs of us for an eye test on December the 9th. Once the test was complete, the optician asked Beth to leave the room and explain to primary school support assistant Claire had spotted signs of a tumor behind the optic nerve. Beth was referred to hospital for further examination that evening before being called to Wishaw General Hospital in Wishaw, North Lanarkshire, for CT scans. What is your view? Have your say in the comments below. It was an MRI scan on January the 8th, 2018 that confirmed her optician's suspicions that a tumor was resting on the optic nerve behind her eye and that she needed to undergo a course of chemotherapy. Throughout 2018 Beth underwent treatment at Glasgow Children's Hospital including a biopsy to discover the tumor was benign, a gradual draining procedure and weekly chemotherapy sessions. Beth said, The headaches involved sharp stabbing pains, it felt like someone was stabbing me in the eye with a sharp, pointy stick. It was horrible. The headaches affected my schoolwork and made me more tired. Activities like going up the stairs to go to a classroom would take it out of me. It was very concerning to be told what was wrong. I don't have a vivid recollection of it. The doctor's job is to take you to the worst case scenario, but for me personally the worst for me was my hair. My hair, which was so thick and long, lasted 10 months into treatment. It was in October that I started to notice the difference. It was hard when it was coming out. I wore a bandana to cover my head. When you see hospital adverts for kids on the television and they don't have hair, I just didn't want that to be me. 
chemotherapy was tiring and painful, but two months after I finished it my eyebrows came back and quite quickly, one by one, my eyelashes grew back, and the fuzz started coming back on my head. It used to be straight, but it's curly now, and sits just on my shoulders. Having successfully undergone treatment to shrink the tumor, Beth now has MRI scans every three months to monitor her eye. Mom of one Claire said, if we didn't pay a visit to Specs of us that day, who knows what the story would have been. Without them having noticed, that then I don't know where we could be, there aren't enough words to thank them for what they have done for us. It was a massive relief to hear that treatment had been successful, and it was also a relief knowing I won't have to see her going through the pain of chemo. The NHS staff were absolutely fantastic, a really friendly bunch. We've been a lot luckier than a lot of families out there. She has MRI scans every three months, and the tumor is now small enough not to cause her any problems. The team is now sharing her story to encourage people to attend their regular eye tests. Beth said, I want to share my story with other people. It's very important to go to your eye tests. With your eyes, so much can be taken away from you so quickly, things you take for granted every day. You can you imagine waking up and not being able to see what time it is or check your phone? You take those things for granted. Eye tests are very important, they're not something you should brush out of the way. Don't put it off, just go. It could save your life. Emma Foster, store director at Specs of Us Hamilton, said, Beth's case, although rare, is an example of how vital it is to go for regular examinations and to contact your optometrist if you are experiencing any issues with your eyesight or discomfort. We recommend getting your eyes checked every two years as they can detect various health conditions, not just changes in prescriptions. We're thrilled to hear that Beth is doing much better. She's a wonderful girl and is always so friendly and talkative whenever she pays us a visit in store. National Eye Health Week runs from September 21 to 27. What is an astrocytoma? Astrocytomas are the most common type of primary brain tumor and are part of a larger group of brain tumors called gliomas. Astrocytomas grow from a type of cell in the brain called an astrocyte. These cells support and protect the nerves in the brain, neurons, and help to pass messages between them. As these cells are found throughout the brain, astrocytomas can occur in many different areas of the brain. Grade 1 astrocytomas, pinocytic astrocytoma, they are slow-growing, sometimes very slow-growing, relatively contained, have well-defined edges, which can make it easier to remove completely, unlikely to spread to other parts of the brain, and unlikely to return after being surgically removed. They're most often found in children and young adults under the age of 20. They're very rare in adults over 50 years. They're equally common in males and females. Information from the Brain Tumor Charity 